This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final, only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Lee Dixon. It is Manchester United facing Barcelona. Well, I'm so excited for the players. We see them coming out there. Excited because of what they've got ahead of them. Are they nervous? Looking at them closely in the eyes. Nerves play a big part in games like this, Derek. I'm nervous for them. Who's going to be the hero? And they're underway now in the Champions League final. We're about to find out which team is the best in Europe. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea starts in goal. Victor Lindelof plays alongside Harry Maguire in central defence. And handed the task of playing up front today, Edinson Cavani. Scott McTominay. Every pass heading its target. Superb defensive judgment to end the attack. And the Barcelona shape looks like this. Mark and Reiter Stegen starts in goal. PK starts alongside Clément Langlais in the centre of defence. And beginning the game up front today is Lionel Messi. The presence of Lionel Messi in the starting 11 should be a warning to opposing defenders. He's really hit form of late. Defenders are really going to have to watch him. Four goals in the last three matches. Well, potential danger. Sergio Busquets. Pedri. And Fred winkling possession away from the opposition. Couldn't hang on to it. Lionel Messi. Messi. Must take the lead here. Oh, crucial tackle. Brilliant. Scott McTominay. Edinson Cavani now. Not a great pass. And slipped through beautifully. And a touch of finesse. Fair play to the keeper. He really anticipated that moment of subtlety. Well, he came off his line. He gave the space behind. But what a good save in the end. Cavani. Bruno Fernandes has it. Scott McTominay. Cavani. And here's Fred, well read to ease the pressure. Jordi Alba. Pedri. Making excellent progress with the ball at his feet. Take it away. Oh, what's he gone and done? And the alarm bells are ringing. A goal for Barcelona. The Blaugrana out in front in the Champions League final. So how important will that be for Barcelona to get their noses in front? That remains to be seen. Well, here's the replay. And Derek, if you get caught on the ball there, you should be fined a week's wages. It's terrible, and he's punished. Some explaining to be done to his coach, I feel. Well, it can be difficult being a manager at times, none more so than now. So on they go again, and that really should shake up United. Can they find a response now? It is the game that the world truly focuses on. The Champions League final. Only two teams left in the quest for European glory. Who's it going to be tonight, Lee? Well, it's a toss of a coin for me. It's a really big night for everybody. All that hard work leading up to pre-season training, going through your domestic league, playing Champions League on and off, the winter break, all of that. 
culminates in tonight. Very, very big night for everybody concerned, supporters, but most so the players. They have to stay focused, play the game, not the occasion. Trailing as they are, what will be the thinking in the camp as you see it, Lee? Well, United find themselves still very much in this game. Such fine margins, isn't there, between success and failure at this level. They need to stick to the game plan and hope it turns around in the second half. So, the whistle then. We're at the halfway stage in this match. Into the second half then, in this battle for Champions League glory. Sergio Busquets. Now with Messi. Well, United certainly enjoying the lion's share of possession, but they have to create more, they have to be more positive. The final third play has been slow, too predictable. Shaw. And you can sense the threat is there. Fred. Cavani. And even Ter Stegen might wonder how on earth he got there. Now the delivery, and the goalkeeper up to the task. Well, yeah, it's a decent save, but if he lets that in, you'd be asking questions. Dembele. Messi. Now Piersman. Well-timed tackle. Cavani. Well, the counter chance looks very real. Will it be sufficiently imaginative? And we're inside the final 30 minutes. Lionel Messi. Now with De Jong. Sergio Busquets. Top class defending. And snuffing out the danger. Pedri. Now Busquets. Sergio Busquets. Griezmann. Pedri. And now this is Longley. Precise ball movement. Got McTominay. Fred with it. It's a fine United move in the making. Cavani. It's with McTominay. That's a foul, and it will be a potentially dangerous free kick. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. And nicely struck! Oh, can you believe this? Just when it looked as though the door was locked, it's been reopened! Well, they're back in it, and you can hear the relief with their fans. Game on! Well, as we see, it's a beauty of a free kick. 
He calmly uses the wall as a guide almost, just to bend it into the net. It's a lovely finish. Well, the earlier goal cancelled out. One apiece. Dembele. Now with De Jong. Just ten minutes to go. And given away by Barca. And a goal at this stage might well turn out to be decisive. And it's gone out of play. Goal kick coming up. Here's a change for Manchester United. Taking care of business defensively here. Fred. Bruno Fernandes. Here is Fred. Anthony Martial. And the electronic board has been held aloft. Three additional minutes here. Matic. Well, forward they go again. Can they win this? And with the goalkeeper. Sergio Busquets. That is that after 90 minutes. They are level and extra time is coming up. And the drama continues. We're now into the first period of extra time tonight, Lee. Well, this 30 minutes now is going to separate the weak ones from the strong ones. Let's see who wins. Mason Greenwood. Nemanja Matic has it. Fred. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Matic. Harry Maguire now. Lindelof. Fred with it. Lindelof now. Juan Bisaka. Matic. And Martial. Bruno Fernandes. Matic on the ball. Anthony Martial. And played the pass well. Will he play it in? Janic. Now Griezmann. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here.
And so 15 more minutes. We're into the second period of extra time here. Decent progress with the ball at his feet. He read the situation defensively and did his job. De Jong. Braithwaite has it. This might be the perfect counter-attacking opportunity. Sergio Busquets. So it's going to be a goal kick here. Still pushing for a winner. Griezmann. Inside the final five minutes of extra time. And a penalty shootout might well be in this game's future. Tempele. And he takes it on. Able to close down the shot. So a throw in here. Sergio Busquets. Dembele. Martin Braithwaite. And teammates to play it to. Busquets. Now Griezmann. Oh, a nice looking pass. The pressure was on the keeper following the threaded pass. And it has all come down to this in the Champions League final. A shootout to determine the winners. And this will test the mentality of any footballer. In it goes! Well, that's why players practice penalties in training. Well, the Panenka has duly fooled the goalkeeper. Well, when you do a Panenka in a game, absolutely top draw, brilliant. And he's denied them from the spot. Oh, it's lovely goalkeeping, really is. Superbly done. How many players would try that? Well, you look stupid if you miss, but look at him now. And he's tucked his penalty away, Lee. Well, he held his nerve. Simple as that. And it's gone in. Well, the sweet sound of the ball hitting the net. Too much elevation off the top of the bar, Lee. Well, inches away from being a great penalty. And now a heaven-sent opportunity to win the match. And now it is truly final. One team in raptures, the other disconsolate. What an ending. Well, you can talk about the merits of penalty shootouts to decide big tournaments, big games. So much nerves of steel are needed. A little bit of a gamble here and there. Who's going to come out on top? But the end result is there for all to see. What a night. Well, they're not going to forget this in a hurry. A proud moment. But for the losers, it's a case of trying to forget about everything that has just occurred. Well, just the point, Derek, always be respectful of the losers. Yes, you're in raptures, you're celebrating with your mates. Always took time to go to the opposition and say, unlucky. The party has started. It's going to be quite the night of celebration here. And as a player, Lee... As a Barcelona player in this case, this is what you want to experience. Well, it is. You have expectations at the start of the season, all those long, hard training sessions in pre-season. You kind of need a goal to get through that pain. And focusing on winning trophies for Barcelona will be that carrot that they need. It's Barcelona's Champions League. And they've got to savour this. It's not every night this comes along.
Well, they probably will be here next year, you never know, <laughs> the way they play, but fully deserved.